Hi, this is Vicki Gelf with Parnell, and I have come to share a word from the Lord that I received today, 11.30.23 at 3.23 p.m. Today is 11.30.23, and it's 5.30 p.m., and I ask that you pray about this word. Um, I've been hearing for a few days, well, for a little while, and so it begins, and so it begins. Well, today the Lord filled me in on that. This word is called December, December, December. Please, let's pray. Father God, I come in the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, I ask in your precious name that you would answer this prayer. Now, right now, Lord, I command and decree all enemy to be deaf, mute, and blind. And that we are put under the barrier of stealth and invisibility in the name of Jesus Christ. Christ, where all power lies, all authority lies, where all power lies. And in the name of Jesus, I activate the no retaliation clause. And again, I pray against the evil AI. And I say evil because, Lord, if there's an evil AI, then I pray you turn part of it to be good for your people, your children. Let there be a good AI. Take part of it for our good to be used for us. In Jesus Christ's name, I pray and ask. Now, Father God, in the name of Jesus, I cancel every plot, gin, snare, device, trap, scheme, every form of evil communication known to God, because God exists everywhere, or any communication that the enemy would utilize, because they'll take the good and use it for the bad. I, I cancel it in the authority of Jesus Christ, breaking all traps, triggers, booby traps, charms, and such like things in the power and authority of Jesus Christ, all again, in all existence known to God, because God exists everywhere, and God exists in all things. That is what your word says. There's nothing that can hide from your eyes, your ears, or your knowledge, <laughs> you feel the heaven and the earth. God, you are amazing and marvelous, and I praise you. You are the, the, the creator. You are all power. You're the supreme being. You are everything. And Jesus Christ, you are everything. There is one God, but there's three parts to this God somehow. Jesus Christ, Father God, and Holy Spirit. But there's one God, one true God, one true living God. And I give you praise. I give you praise. Now, Father God, in the name of Jesus, I also send up angelic static, which is where I pray. That means I'm asking the angels to go up and create static against all the enemy devices, technology, electronics, and such like things and all existence known to God because God exists everywhere. And I ask this to be done immediately, Father. And I seal the, the cell towers in every avenue of the internet. In every way, the waves and the frequency and the atmospheric spherical things, waves, weapons, vibrations, uh, sound, color, and such like things, I ask they be turned to heaven's tune, to heaven's notes, to heaven, to all of what heaven would be in. And I ask that you just continually rotate those so that they cannot get a fix on it or piggyback on them. In the name of Jesus Christ. Where all power, <laughs> all power lies. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Jesus Christ, King of kings, the Lord of all. Jesus Christ is the Lord. Jesus Christ is my Lord. Jesus Christ is King of kings. King over all existence known to God because God exists everywhere. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Now, Father God, I also cancel in the name of Jesus everything they use, such as their voodoo items, their cauldrons, their pots, Father God, their herbs. Lord, burn them up with the fire of God. I ask Jesus Christ, you send a fire and burn up all their reservoir, all the reserves, Father, everything they have, Lord, in their homes, in, in their storehouses, Father. And I ask and pray in the name of Jesus. Now, I have done prayed today, and I've done removed their armor and protection. So I'm asking now that you would just send through every ill, evil gathering that speak in the murmuring words against not just me in this ministry, but your children, that you would run through with a temptuous storm and just 
Just scatter them, Father, in Jesus Christ's name. And hot thunderbolts. Your word talks about hot thunderbolts. Send down hot th thunderbolts and rumors of the Lord. And Father God, while you're at it, I ask and pray that those hot thunderbolts would go through their networking, Father God. That it would go through the AI. That it would go through their software, their backup powers, their power supplies. Everything of the enemy. Their satellites, Father. Burn them down. Burn the, the circuits, Father, in Jesus Christ's name. Burn out the evil father now lord i also pray again that 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 holy that virus containing the holy algorithm that you've had me pray and pray and pray and pray i pray again that you send more and that it will go through and it processes faster than light and that the ai struggles and has to, the evil ai continually is trying in all all of it every system every subsystem every software everything electronic that is evil will have to try to solve this problem that they cannot solve and every time it processes and then loops and repeats and repeats you evil ai i command you to delete part of your main programming not needed for the end time days in the name of jesus christ in all existence known to god because god exists everywhere and whatever we can take out, Father God, let it be to the advantage of the left behind or even those being persecuted right now. That they use the surveillance and these things to hunt down your children. Father God, we've got to pray for one another. We've got to pray wise. Be wise as serpents and gentle as doves. God, give us wisdom, discernment. Give us understanding and knowledge. Give us that ability to know how to pray and pray effectively. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. Meaning precision prayer. Precision prayer. Lead us, teach us, Lord. Blessed be the Lord my strength who teaches my hands to warm my fingers to fight. Psalms 144, 1. Father God, teach us. Teach your children how to pray, how to warn the Spirit. Teach us, Lord. Teach us. Make us teachable, Father. Make us teachable. Bend our will to yours. Mold us, Father. Mold us in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray and ask. Standing on John 14, 14, that's why I pray and ask. So not only will you do it, Jesus Christ, but it will glorify and honor the Father who rules and reigns in righteousness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now I ask this word go forth wherever you need it to go and Holy Spirit send it on, on, on your wind. And again, I, I say this repeatedly and I say it meaning it. Don't let me speak a word, Jesus Christ, Father God, Holy Spirit, or angels that I have not, holy angels, that I have not been given from you, from heaven's mandate, in Jesus Christ's name. And Lord, for all those that still rise up against me, Lord, that means they're leaving my brothers and sisters alone. I'm big enough to take it, God, because I hide in the shadow of your wings. You always and Lord, I thank you for giving me the understanding of trying the spirits because I do that now everything, 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 repeatedly, repeatedly, repeatedly before I send it out, which I did before, but not repeatedly just to ensure. So Father God, let your perfect will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And Lord, I ask you help those that's hurting, those that are wounded, those that have been betrayed, those that feel like they can't go on you are our strength lord that's when we need to step back get our eyes off everything else and refocus on the one who is our strength the one who is our king the one who is our good shepherd the one who will take care of it all if we will just keep our eyes focused on you jesus christ and not on all these things these things are just distractions to try to pull us off of you our eyes off of you Jesus Christ, these things don't matter to me anymore. You are my one sole focus. Your will, Father God, be done on earth as it is in heaven is my daily prayer. Let our prayers line up your will on earth, Father, because you do not control free will, but you do control the majority of everything else, if not all of everything else, because you have set up orders you have set up laws you have set up holy mandates for this world that you in all your honor honor by yourself so you can judge righteously fairly in all things because you judge by those same standards you created 
Lord, I love you and thank you for that. I praise you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise you, Lord. In Jesus Christ's name I pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm. There's nothing quite like being surrounded by your enemies in the very place you live to keep you on your toes and on your knees. Hallelujah. All right. <laughs> That's all I'm saying on that. Again, now, this word's a hard word. And any anybody that that knows that, that spends a lot of time with prayer and do get words from the Lord, you learn after a while, you, he lets you feel his feelings. I'm going to say he was righteously angry when he gave this word. So it's not one I want to deliver, but I'm going to do what I've been called to do. I'm going to sound this warning. Again, it came at 11.30.23 at 3.23 p.m. December, December, December. And again, I was praying and I kept hearing. And so it begins. And so it begins. And I'm like, Lord, what now? I'll be honest, that was, what now? Jesus Christ, what now? But I didn't, until he called me to pray, that's when he started speaking after I've been praying and interceding in tongues. And then this came forth. And again, yes, I tried the spirits through, you know, after it's done. Lord Jesus, is there anything, you know, just because the enemy's crafty and wise. You know, it's crafty, not wise. In his own way, yeah, but Jesus is wiser. So there you go. Anyway, <laughs> let's get on to the word. Sorry about that. Okay. So I'm praying, and then I hear again, all of a sudden, and, and I know when the Lord is calling me to speak, when He wants to speak. So I was praying, and I had my notebook and ink pen ready, because I felt, well, well, I keep my notebook with me at all times, just in case. All right, and so it begins, is what He said, it starts it. And so it begins, December, 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 how well scream and cry and so it begins did not I warn you did not I say this time would come my little children in me it's time to run inside and shut your door and so it begins December a month of sorrows December a month of turmoil December, a time of smiting. December, a time of a fall. December, December, December. <coughs> Excuse me. I am the stone the builders rejected. Now see my might as I fall upon the ungodly of this world and nation. December, December, December. It's not what you thought it was going to be, O nation once called America, but Babylon to me. Your fall shall be heard all across your world, echoing the sounds of your destruction and causing a rippling effect to other parts of your world. December, December, December. And so it begins. No more time for repentance. Excuse me. No more time for repenting from all you have been found wanting in my unfaithful in my unfaithful wife now called Babylon. You were engrafted into my vine, a nation set above others to lead them to me, their Savior, Jesus Christ. You have failed miserably and instead of and instead have embraced the ways of Balaam and Moloch and other false gods in my place. You sacrifice your children as if they were cut out disposable paper dolls that have no real value and no genuine worth. The paper dolls are shown more love than you show your murdered children you choose to have ripped from the safety of your mother's wombs. You embrace the lifestyle of men laying with men, women with women, declaring, I am a God of love. I came to save all. I love you just as you are. So there's no need to change. Fools, this kind of deception you have spread 
to your world is what has led you to this moment in time, O nation of Babylon. And so it begins in full swing, the takedown of a nation. And the eagle shall never more spread her majestic wings and soar above the others. Your failure to repent, O nation of Babylon, has sealed your fate. I judged I judge righteously with justice in my hands. Your sins far outweigh those of Sodom, Nineveh, and Gomorrah combined. The great millstone has already been cast into the sea. Babylon falls, she falls, and shall rise no more. Her wings are clipped and her feathers have been plucked, and all that's left is for her to burn and burn she will. Within one hour she shall, and never again shall you be the sole source of trafficking and prostituting children that I gave you to love. Never again will you abuse your elderly that should be held in respect and their counsel of years listened to. You were warned to honor thy mother and thy father, to love thy neighbor, to not covet, steal, or lust. Yet you soar above all others in these sins right next to adultery, homosexuality, and fornication. I am a God of love, but I do not compromise my holy standards to accommodate your sinful actions and desires. December, a time of despair. December, a time of tragedy, as false hopes turn into deadly reality. December, December, December. Little daughter, December has come and few are prepared. Have not I sent dreams to many of mine concerning this month of yours? Yes, you have, Jesus Christ, my love. And so it begins. December, December, December. And so it begins the full takedown of the eagle. From within from without, from underneath and above. I will no longer tolerate your sins, Babylon. Your wicked, evil lifestyles are like a, a disease that is spread over the entire world. You serve your masters well. You were called out into my kingdom of light to warn the lost of such evil, wicked ways. Now, your demise shall be a warning to your world the cost that you had to pay for those sins you refused to let go of and return to me. December is the start of the ending in full for you, O Babylon. You're already weakened within, weakened without, financially broke, militarily weakened, with no God to fight for you. Because Lucifer, because Satan and the devil shall gleefully watch you fall so they can rise to power with their man of sin, Antichrist, their puppet. O America, now Babylon to me, you have been betrayed by the very ones you betrayed my love for and don't even realize it. Weep, well, cry aloud, for destruction is your plight now. I would have forgiven you, saved you, redeemed you back to me, like a husband whose wife had played the harlot, but out of the husband's great love would have allowed you to return. This time has passed. You have been divorced, and now your worldly lover shall turn on you and destroy you with one hour's time. For my children inside the walls of Babylon of America, I say, I have not forgotten you. Many shall come to me in various ways, some by death, some by my return, while others shall remain. Only the condition of your heart will decide if you are to remain and be upon your world when Antichrist takes his throne above your world's soil. December, 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 the final beginning of it all. And so it begins, my children. So it begins. Here's the verses. Excuse me. Isaiah 54, 5. 
Hosea 2, 16. Jeremiah 3, 8. Revelation 18, 2 through 18. Jeremiah 51, 7 through 8. And verse 11. Revelation 18, 21 through 24. Isaiah 26, 20 through 21. Psalms 118, 22. Isaiah 28, 16 through 18. Matthew 21, 44. I ask you to pray about this. In all this, we who know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior have no need to fear. Fear is not for us. There's two kinds of fears in this world. There's a healthy fear God created, which tells you in, in, in like an emergency to move, to run. You know, the adrenaline pumps and move. That is healthy fear. Like if you're running uh, near a building and something falls off and you know to run, to dart out of the way. Healthy fear. But when you have fear, fear something's going to happen. Tormenting fear. Fear of this, fear of that. That is a spirit. Second Timothy 1 7. For God has not given us a spirit of fear. Identifying this is a demon spirit. A spirit of fear but of power, the Holy Spirit, but of love, God is a spirit, God is love, and of a sound mind, we have the mind of Christ. We have nothing to fear. So if you're, you're afraid by all these things coming, you need to check your life. There's some kind of entrance in, in your life that's allowed access for Satan to do that. You need to refocus on Jesus Christ. Refocus on Jesus Christ whom you love. When you get your eyes off Jesus Christ looking on all these things, you're opening doors to let the enemy, enemy play havoc in your life. You are to take your thoughts captive. Galatians 5 talks about the thoughts, what you think on what's lovely, what's pure. You know, it talks about the works of the flesh and it talks about the works of the spirit. Um, Philippians 4, 8. Let me read that one. Oh, wrong one. Because we have got to understand the battle is in our mind. That is where, because if, if the enemy can control your mind, if he can get through to your mind, then he can gain access fully to your body. And our bodies are the temple of the Holy Spirit. We're supposed to keep this clean and pure and holy according to God's standards, which is living a life like Jesus lived. Not impossible, or it would not be in the Word of God. My pages are sticky. Unloose in Jesus' name. There you go. Here's what you're supposed to think on. I'm going to read verse 7. Philippians 4, 7, because it goes with it, and 8. Verse 7, and the peace of God, you're supposed to have peace, which passes all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Verse 8. Finally, brethren, what sort of things are true what sort of things are honest what sort of things are just what sort of things are pure what sort of things are lovely what sort of things are of a good report if there be any virtue and if there be any praise think on these things not on your bill there's nothing wrong with okay i've got bills coming i'm gonna I bet you what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to say okay lord this is my need i have these bills I'm coming to you and I'm asking you to pray for them, but you, you're supposed to leave them on the altar then. You're not supposed to take them back and say, how am I going to do this? Maybe I should borrow this. Maybe I should. When you're supposed to be trusting the King of all glory to help you pay those bills. He's your husband. A good husband. A faithful husband. A good shepherd. Your children are out doing drugs. You're supposed to lay it before the Lord and pray and trust Him. And every time a worry thought comes to your mind, you cast it aside and say, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name, I trust you. My children shall be saved. I stand on Acts 1631. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou and thy household shall be saved. And there's those saying, well, we all get to make our choice. Yes, we do. But you need to read. If you're like that and you have children and you're born again 
You have promises that have been given to you for your children because they're your seed and seed seed. And the majority of them are talking about them being saved too. But you got to pray and dig and read and see what the word says. With all that's happening, you've got to stay focused on Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ alone. There is no fear in love. Perfect love casts out all fears, what John says, First John says. John, First John 4, perfect love casts out all fear. Father God casts out all fear. And how do you do that? You do that by rebuking it and resisting it in Jesus Christ's name. With all that's coming. And with me, I know Jesus is coming soon. I do. But I know, too, that the way that things can change in circumstances, that time is fluid. And with every every choice somebody makes, because God does not control free will, there's a changing to rearrange for his perfect will to be done. His will will be done, but circumstances around it may change. Like, war is coming. Okay, war was coming before now. For those of you that, that, that's really following the prophetic and understand when, when all of God's people, the true ones, are telling that this is coming and all of a sudden it changes, that means something has happened and it's something that God himself has done, such as somebody, it can be just one person, somebody reached God in prayer, in desperation, in holy desperation is what I call it, and reached the heart of God, maybe for just their one child, and he said, okay, wait, because he will leave the 99 safely to go after that one yes he will do i believe things are about to happen i definitely do i will not put a timeline on it because again he did not give me a year but in my spirit i feel like it's soon i feel like it's now i feel like this is a year for many things and I know we're in the end of the year but are we in the end of the year are we in the Jewish year I don't even know anymore I don't know except that to live every day focused on Jesus Christ and when I do look like what few headlines I do it just shows me look up your redemption draweth nigh Jesus Christ is on his way for those of you that still don't believe in rapture all I can say is you better have your life ready just in case because everything I'm seeing and everything I'm reading and everything he's telling me tells me he's coming and that there is a rapture. But it's not called a rapture. It's called a gathering or a catching away. I'm just going to say, for those of you that's forever wanting to argue, I will not argue with you. I will say, I will choose to live my life in a ready state because I will be the better person for it regardless. Because my heart will be fixed on Jesus Christ and my eyes are fixed on Jesus Christ. And I'm looking every moment, every second for him to come. And should he delay, I will not become lax in Jesus Christ's name. I will use that time and utilize that time to reach as many souls as I can. Because in the end, that's what it's about. Reaching the lost. Understand this. Hell is a place of torment. But so is the lake of fire. And everybody says, you know, hell, hell, you know, this, this. Death and hell. Everything is going to be cast into the lake of fire where the sin will be forever, forever trapped, forever removed from the world. Anything that goes into the lake of fire will not come out. Anything, anyone, any being, any fallen angel, any demon, any humanoid, any whatever that goes into the lake of fire will not come out. And they will be forever tormented. It's not one big great party in hell like people think. And hell and the lake of fire are different. I mean, I know there's other people that says otherwise, but it says that plainly in Revelation. And I will go by what the Word of God says. Um... I'm going to read that, and then I'm going to, Lord willing, get off here. Get at the end, sorry. <laughs> Revelation 20, verse 14. And death and hell, death and hell, were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. Written in the... Word of God. Alright, now those of you that don't know Jesus Christ, 
now's the time. And I'm not saying it. I'm not saying you don't have another day. I'm just saying no one knows when their last breath is going to be unless the Lord tells them. Now's the time. And for those of you still straddling the fence, get off the fence. Satan owns the fence. For those of you wondering why you do not have that personal relationship that you had years ago where you were so close to the Lord, well, guess what? He didn't move. You did. Your choices. So you need to make the choice one way or the other to turn back to Jesus Christ and surrender fully or to walk away because you're lukewarm and lukewarm will be spewed out of his mouth. And I say that in love because I'm concerned for my brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ. You got to make a choice. You got to make a stand. You can't waver and be wishy-washy in all your ways anymore. Man up. Put your armor on. Get your sword out. Let's fight. Let's get the souls while we can. Instead of sitting back in your cushy, cushy chairs watching TV. All right. If you don't know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, I do ask that you say this little prayer. And it's simple. You just simply believe and confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. So please say this. Jesus Christ, I come to you in your name, and I ask you to forgive me of all my sins and wash me clean. I believe you are the Son of God who came in flesh of a man, yet God in body form. I believe you gave your life for me on Calvary and rose again three days later, victoriously. I confess you as my Lord as the Lord and my Savior before God and men. In Jesus Christ's name, I pray. Amen. And it's that simple. I would recommend you get a Bible if you do not have a hard copy Bible. Uh, ask the Holy Spirit to, to lead you to which one? The Holy Spirit, Holy Ghost, Holy Spirit. You can say either one. It's, it's, a, there, it's both for him. Holy Ghost, Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit, Holy Ghost, is like none other. There's other spirits. And they call demons, ghosts, polter poltergeists go. There's only one Holy Spirit. And he's the sweetest, dearest friend, but all powerful. Whew. Yeah. Good, good friend. And he will teach you. When you get saved, he comes and dwells in your heart. It's a difference from being baptized in the Holy Spirit. But the Holy Spirit still resides in you. And he will teach you, John 14, 26 says, he will teach you. So I ask him to teach you and to open further your understanding of the word when you read it. And I recommend starting in John, if you've never read the Bible, Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, in the New Testament, and get to know your Savior, your Savior, your saving King. Um, if you would like to contact me, uh, I'm still currently at pray.856 myjesus at gmail.com. That's getting ready to change. Praise God. We're getting rid of the um, the old, I'm going to say old contaminated sites and, and getting what God has ordained. And um, that just means whatever he wants changed, we're going to change. Um, but with that being said, I'm going to get off here. Uh, those of you um, let me just say, the mailing address was never supposed to be removed. That was something that was not done on um, my authority, but it is there. Um, for I get a lot of prayer requests still through the mail, too, and I, I'll, I'm grateful for that. But that is um, My Lovely Jesus Ministry, uh, P.O. Box 5133, Cleveland, Tennessee, 37320, for anybody that's wanted. It will be Lord willing under the bottom here. And we do have all the ebooks completed. Um, the ebooks are free. You can download them on www.mylovelyjesusministry.com. On the ebook transcribe transcript, I think that's what it said. Link there. It, there's one for every subject. Like there's one on antichrist. There's one on war. There's one, you know, different things. And there's one complete one. But but the one complete one, I will tell you, it's like 1,931 pages. So it is 
a large one and there's no menu yet because I do not know how to do that yet. Yet. But in Jesus Christ's name, if he wants it done, he will show me. My main focus was getting everything out there because so many had been removed, left, deleted. I just, the Lord told me to get them back out there. And so that's my main priority. And then if I can go back and, you know, correct it and, and readjust, we will do it at this time. I'm looking for Jesus to come at any time. So there you go. <laughs> so whatever gets done will get done. I'm, I'm not worried. I'm not concerned. I am going through the email. Some of you may have noticed that I have contacted contacted you, a lot of them. And there's even some that may be like a month out or that I've been praying and praying and praying about. And then also the Lord said, this is what's going on. So if you get it like an email like a month later, understand I've been praying the whole time. And I just sent one out, I think it was for September. But I've been praying, Lord, what's going on here? What, 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 what? And he started talking. Be persistent in your prayers. Don't let up. But don't worry about them either. Let the Holy Spirit, I get down when I pray, and say, Holy Spirit, lead me in this prayer. Because I don't want to, you know, get off. I want to pray what needs to be prayed at that moment. All right, I'm going to get off here. Lord willing. God bless. Stay under the blood. And all of you naysayers and all you, you know, witchy woo people and stuff like that, repent. Jesus is coming. You're playing Russian roulette with your soul. And for all those that don't like me and hate me or whatever, I love you and I forgive you. I didn't make you man me. You, for some reason, chose to do so. So know this. I love you in Jesus Christ. And I forgive you, those that are savable. Those that are not, again, I'm praying your life cord, your silver cord be cut. Because if you're removed, that's less we will have to fight with my brothers and sisters and those left behind. All right, from Tennessee, bye-bye.